Good morning. Today is the day. I am headed to Thailand. I just woke up, literally, in case you can't tell from how I look. But I am about to go for a run. I'm going to try to go for a three mile run just to get me moving. Um, I'm going to be on a 13 hour flight. I was going to say 14, but it's going to be a 13 hour flight today. So I want to make sure that I get in a little bit of exercise. Um, but I will be eating breakfast when I get back, having a matcha latte, of course, when I get back. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go for a run in the dark. It's like 6.45 and it's still dark here in New York. So I'm going to go for a run in the dark. And then I will come back and have breakfast. And then I will kind of show you what I'm doing today. And I'll show you what I'm packing. And then, of course, you'll be following along and seeing what I eat all day. So let's do this. Back from my run. Lighting in here today is not great. Um, but I am back from my run. And so today, since I'm leaving for 10 days, it's going to be like a clean out the fridge type of day for all my meals. So I'm going to make a smoothie bowl because I have a bunch of greens in the fridge. I'll probably have a salad for lunch and right now I'm going to, well I'm going to make my smoothie bowl obviously, but I'm also going to make a pumpkin spice matcha latte, which the recipe for that is going to be on the blog. You can check it out, you can search pumpkin spice and that should come up. And then I'm also going to have a coconut water right now. So I don't know if I've talked to you guys about coconut water before, but I like having coconut water after I work out and the kind I like is, there we go. It's called Harmless Harvest Coconut Water. It tastes so good. It tastes like it came directly out of the coconut, which it did. So I like to get these. They're a little bit on the pricey side, but they were on sale at my grocery store. So I'm gonna drink this, make my matcha latte, and make my smoothie bowl. My smoothie bowl this morning was a ton of spinach, some of this chocolate peanut butter protein powder, some raw cacao powder, blueberries, and bananas. And it was super creamy, and I topped it with goji berries, coconut, and cacao nibs. So I've got my smoothie bowl, you saw what I put in it, and I put a little bit of protein powder in, and now I'm just going to finish up a little bit of work before I finish packing and head off to Thailand. And make sure that you also check out my healthy travel tips video, which I will link in the description box below, and I'll put a little note right here that you can click because that has even more tips for surviving the airport and also when you're flying for a really long time, how you can stay healthy and nourished. So I'm getting ready to have lunch. I am pretty much all packed. I just have to finish packing my little backpack that I'm carrying. I am getting everything in my ca carry-on suitcase, which I'm very proud of myself for. And I'm gonna show you inside my fridge and what I have and what I'm gonna make for lunch. I think I'm gonna do kale salad with some sauteed mushrooms, and some chickpeas and that's probably it. So let's do this. Here is my empty fridge. I made sure to clean out as much as I possibly could and now let's do lunch. So I'm starting with some kale. I used about four cups of kale and I chopped it really fine. And then I added that to a skillet with some olive oil. And then I chopped up some portobello mushroom caps. So I just thickly sliced them so that they were kind of like steaks and I added those into the pan with the kale. And then I sprinkled it with salt, garlic powder, and chili flakes. And then I just sauteed it. I decided to add a little bit of water to help steam it and cook it more quickly. And then here's my final bowl. So the kale, the mushrooms, and some chickpeas that I had in my fridge, and I drizzled them with sriracha. So lunch was delicious, and now I am going to go get my dinner. I'm gonna go get a salad from Sweet Green, and I'm gonna drink my kombucha. I'm gonna do a few little errands before I have to leave for the airport. But I wanna show you the snacks that I'm bringing with me on the plane, because I'm gonna be on the plane for like 13 hours, and so I'll have to eat lunch, or I'll have to eat dinner, and I'll have to eat breakfast. And I just don't really wanna eat the plain food. So here is what I am bringing. All right, so. I am going to have a huge thing of tea with me in case I can't find teas that I like. So I have tea, I have a bunch of dried mango for like a sweet little snack, organic dried mango, 
This is green juice powder that I will probably stir into water and this just helps me get in some alkalizing greens. I'm bringing a ripe avocado, which is like kind of crazy, but I'm gonna add this to my salad tonight and it'll just be good to have some healthy fats. I am bringing these delicious chickpea snacks, habanero medium spicy, so yummy. Apple for breakfast. I have a square bar. This is my favorite flavor, chocolate coated coconut. I have two of these little health warrior bars. I have the chocolate peanut butter and the dark chocolate. Two of these little almond butter and cashew butter snack packs to have with my apple or whenever I'm feeling like I just need something to eat. So this is all the food I'm bringing. It's a lot. I'm probably not gonna eat it all, but it's just always great to have healthy alternatives and healthy options as I'm flying. In the cab on the way to the airport, I am probably like 15 minutes away. I am super excited. I'm feeling nervous, but I got everything in a carry-on bag, and I'm probably gonna have a snack when I get to the airport. I'm kinda hungry though. I will make sure to share all of the snacks and stuff that I'm eating on the plane, and we are taking off in a little over two hours, yay! Once I got to the airport, I had my square bar, my favorite little protein bar, and then when I got on the plane, I had a cup of green tea kombucha. And here's the quote, life is a flow of love, your participation is requested. So then they delivered dinner and I wanted to show you guys what the food that they served on the plane was. So I got a gluten-free meal. I didn't have the option of choosing gluten-free and vegetarian, so I ended up getting meat. And I honestly think that this is salmon, but I can't tell, could be chicken. I'm pretty sure it's salmon with some wilty greens and blood orange or grapefruit, whatever that is. And here is the dinner that I had. A beautiful, gorgeous salad with avocados, sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, tons of greens, falafel, all of my favorite fixings, and it was so much more delicious than the crap that they served on the plane. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more from this series, you can click any of the buttons that are on this screen. And I will be coming back next Friday with another What I Eat in a Day, this time featuring the food that I ate in Thailand. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!